everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and are keeping yourselves safe and your family safe during this very bizarre, strange time. But for me and this channel, we are going to continue the schedule as normal, probably more than normal because we're gonna have a lot of time on our hands. So to start this week off, the first video which I wanted to film is how to catfish, like how to do the ultimate catfish full glam, we are going big or going home. Well, <laughs> could I say that? Cause we ain't not going home, cause we at home. Anyway, I'm going to be taking you through my full glam routine from start to finish. So this is a two day process because we need to start with a fake tan because guys, look at me right now. This is pale, this is very fair. This is my natural skin color. Um, do you know what, I actually think I'm probably even lighter than this because um, I bet I've still got a little bit of tan remnants on there. So I'm going to be basically taking you through full glam, how to catfish, what I do to get ready, pretty much just for every day for me, but also for like a night out, like if you're going out, out. And what I want to remind you all is, now this is a very important message coming from Alice Jackson. I want you guys to remember that just because we are stuck at home doesn't mean that we can't sort of involve ourselves in self-care, love yourselves, get dressed up. I think one of the best things to do during a time like this is to still get up in the morning, get yourself ready, whatever that means to you, whether that means just doing your hair, whether that means put doing your makeup on like me, doing your fake tan, all that, whatever that means to you, I think we still need to be getting up in the morning, getting ourselves ready for the day and going out there. And then don't like hesitate to just want to indulge in some other different stuff. I almost swore and said shit, but at this point I don't care. Um, so basically this video was one, I just wanted to have a little fun, two, I wanted to actually inform you of how this process goes for me because this is in depth and I know a lot of you will be interested and also three, I wanted you guys to just like embrace this time that we've got, like indulge in yourselves, get ready, have some fun. Now is the time to practice your makeup and tan guys because no one is gonna really be seeing you so um, I mean unless you're like me and you're gonna be posting on social media like mad but now is the time to be having a little practice so saying that the first step of our catfishing routine I cannot wait is obviously fake tan because I am so pale right now so the fake tan which I'm going to be using today is the skinny tan express mousse one hour so, it basically says if you leave it on for one to two hours, you get a medium tan, two to three hours, you get a medium to dark tan, and then three to four hours, you get a dark tan. So it's basically just like a normal tan, except it develops a little bit quicker, which is what we want because I'm actually tanning now, so I don't have to wreck my sheets tonight because I just got new bedding and a bitch ain't got time for washing the sheets. Like, I can't explain to you how paranoid I get about filming naked because... You never know where there's little reflections everywhere. <laughs> and one day I'm gonna be caught out. So here we go. So I've shaped the fake tan well. Um, oh, I should probably mention I've already showered, I've already exfoliated, I've done all the prep work, and now I'm just going straight in with the tan, okay? So tanning mitt. I've never actually used this tan before, so this will be fun. I can't tell you how good this is gonna feel. Mm. So I have used skinny tan before. I've just never, oh, that smells gorgeous. What smell is that? Oh my God, it says coconut scent, but I don't know if that is coconut to me, but who friggin' knows. So let's get this fake tan on here. I'm honestly so excited about this. Look at this pale arm, it's now gonna be a brown arm. Let's just get it on my face. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. So that is the fake tan on. And you know when you just feel like this is the real me? Like I put fake tan on and I'm just like, this is the person I was supposed to be. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to leave my fake tan on probably for the four hours and then I'll sleep in it, I'll wash it off, I'll sleep in it tonight and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do the rest of the glam. So hopefully the next time you see me I won't be looking so crazy with my hair and all this patchiness going on in my face and I'll just be bronze and golden and ready to go. So yeah, if you want to see the next stage of this transformation, then keep on watching. Hello again, so it's the next day now and we have got our tan on, my hair has been washed, I'm not looking as crazy as I did yesterday, well, 
a little bit crazy, but not as bad as yesterday. Um, so I've done my brows and now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. And I think I'm gonna do a sort of smoky winged look Instagram baddie type vibe. So the next step, so as I said, I've done my brows. I'm just going to use my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Cool Medium. And I'm going to carve my brows out. This is like a fresh concealer. And you know when you're just like, ugh, new concealer. So to start off my eyeshadow, I'm gonna take the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm going to take the shade Incense, which is just kind of a neutral mid brown. And I'm just taking that in my crease. And I am just going to wing it out slightly from the crease, but nothing too crazy. Because I feel like for that natural glam Instagram buddy type look, they don't, they kind of find like this middle ground between smoky and like not smoky, if that makes sense. So you don't want to use colours which are too dark. I think I'm then going to take the shade Base, which would typically be used as the base colour, but I want the look to really be on the wing and the lashes. So I'm just using this to put on the centre of the lid, just to make it nice and bright. And just give us a nice clean base to work on. And then just taking a brown Makeup Revolution eye pencil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just line and do a wing only up to the outer portion so I'm going to finish it about here so we haven't got too much coming into the centre so basically that's going to really give us that cat, cat eye type look to the eye. And don't worry about it being perfect because we can clean it up with a baby wipe at the end. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And then just going to take the shade Volatile. I'm going to buff that over the top of the liner and just make it really blown and buffed out and soft. So we've got no sort of harsh lines. So I'm literally just pressing it on top and smudging it out. And then just to intensify the colour at the base of the lashes, I'm going to take a little bit of the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77 and I'm going to do a really, really thin line right at the base and then I'm just going to take that same little brush and smudge it out. And this is just going to create a little bit more density in the colour without it being too bold. So I'm just taking that colour and adding it right to the last line. So I'm literally just adding the colour there just for a bit more depth. I'm then just gonna clean up the wing using a baby wipe and I'm literally just gonna clean that up and make a nice sharp edge. And the same on the other side. So I'm just going to apply my lashes. As always, I'm using the JLG Cosmetics lashes in the style Dolly, which are amazing. Thank you. 
For my base, I'm gonna start by applying the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is literally my favorite thing ever. Anybody that's had the makeup done by me, you all know what I'm talking about because I use it on all of you because it's just amazing. It's just the most perfect creamy moisturizing base for makeup. And what I love about this is it allows your makeup to still stay matte, but like for some reason it like makes your shimmers and stuff that you put on top still like come through really beaming. Almost like, oh shit, almost like you've put um, a liquid illuminator underneath, but you haven't. So I'm gonna mix my foundation up today, and today I'm gonna be using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is in the shade Four Light, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match in the shade 6.5 Golden Toffee, because I love the color of that. But I just thought, you know what, let's just do something a little different. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that. I'm mixing with a lot of that because I'm obviously a little bit darker these days. No, it needs to be darker. The good thing, the thing I love about that NARS foundation is how liquidy it is. I find that, I mean, I love Studio Fix, obviously, I use it all the flipping time, but there's something about this foundation which just is so nice to put on. It's not as matte and drying, it's really lovely. And with my concealer, I'm gonna use this to clean up my wing. Just like that. This is the great thing about this type of smoky eye is that you can really not worry too much about accidents because you've got plenty of opportunities to clean it all up and make it all nice and neat. So what I am going to do, because it's obviously quite a harsh line where we put our concealer, just on this outer part I'm just going to buff it out slightly so it's not quite as harsh. I'm then setting that with the Charlotte Tilbury Full Lawless Filter which is the best powder. If you're looking for a full coverage powder that's going to cover a multitude of sins, that's going to set your powder really, set your, that's going to cover a multitude of sins, that's going to add uh, more coverage to your foundation and it's going to make sure that your foundation and concealer don't crease, this is the one. It's honestly the best powder ever. It also keeps you matte for so long as well, so this is like a no-brainer for me on weddings and stuff because it's just such a good all-rounder and it's called flawless filter like it really does make you look like you've got a filter on your face I'm just going to use that same uh, makeup revolution pencil and i'm just going to pop that in my waterline and then take it slightly onto the skin on the outer part and we're just going to buff that out So I'm then just going to take a little bit of um, the shades Incense and Volatile that we use to smoke out the upper liner and I'm going to use that to smoke out the lower liner. But nothing too crazy, just a little bit. So now we've done the eyes, we are going to contour and bronze the face. I'm using my favourite which is Give Me Some by MAC. Um, another one that I like, particularly if you've got lighter skin, is the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. That's a really, it's a much more cooler tone bronzer. So I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm probably gonna go relatively heavy with this because, hello, we're trying to catfish. <laughs> like we want it to, this isn't a natural makeup look, put it that way. And I feel like the cool girl thing to do at the moment is to use a bit of your bronzer as your blusher as well. So I'm gonna kind of take that bit onto my cheeks. Don't know if you can see, like I've got that little sheen to my skin. That is the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream coming through my foundation, even though I've set everything. And it's not making my foundation sticky or move or anything. It just allows that glow to come through. It's so pretty. For my highlight, I'm then going to use Oh Darling by MAC because this is the most intense gold highlight ever and I absolutely love it. And it's a beautiful true gold, it's not too yellow or too light. I love it. Look, you can see that the Charlotte's Tilbury's Magic Cream just like catches 
your shimmer like nobody's business. It's insane. Now a little bit more mascara. And I'm going to put quite a lot on my lower lashes because I just like the way that looks. Like I like a really full lash on the bottom. For my lips, I'm going to be taking Oak Lip Liner by MAC and I'm obviously going to overline them slightly. So that actually wasn't as dark as I want it to be, so I'm going to take Cork, which is slightly darker, and I'm just going to go over the top. Oh, that's better. I'm then going to take the shade Nude Embrace, and this is by Maybelline, and I'm going to pop that on. It's our lipstick colour. Just so we've got lipstick on. And then I'm going to go over the top with the Makeup Revolution Sheer Brilliant Lip Gloss in the shade Piece of Cake. Makeup done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rearrange a few bits and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to get the baddest bitch sexy catfish hairstyle. So while the straighteners are heating up, I'm going to, let's have make sure they're on. I'm going to basically explain to you the type of hairstyle which we're going to be doing today. I think the best type of hairstyle for this look is something which is quite big, volume, sexy, va va -voom. So, we're going to be doing big curls, which is my favourite thing ever. And I just think that, you know, everybody loves a big curly hairstyle. So... I'm gonna try, we don't want to do it in two smaller sections because we don't want the curls to be too tight. So I'm starting at the back and then I work my way forward. So I will, by the way, these are Cloud Nine hair straighteners, they're amazing. So I just wrap the hair around like that and then gradually pull it down. And what I do at the end is like sometimes I'll like keep it rolling, just like roll it back on itself. And there you go, big bounce curls. So let's just do that over the whole head in relatively large sections, but we'll brush it out at the end anyway. So if you do find that you've been doing them too small and they look quite tight, I wouldn't worry too much because we're going to brush them out anyway. So, as you can see, I don't do anything too sort of rigid and like I do this section and this section. I like my hair to look quite messy and like it's not done done. I think that that actually looks much sexier like that, like a bit more effortless. So I tend to just part it down the middle and then I'll work from one side and then work to the other side. Just taking sections. So again, straighteners in, wrap them round, and then pull them. And I just like to keep rolling it back on itself a little bit just to get more of a curl shape. Look, perfect curl. And then for my front bits, I will smooth them out first, and then I will do exactly the same, but I don't hold it for as long. Like that. I also love this hairstyle because I have like, I wouldn't say I have a balayage so much now, but because I have multi-tonal colours, I don't know if you can see there, I have like a bit of brown, a bit of blonde, like I have a bit of everything going on in my hair. I find that curling it just brings all those colours to the forefront and so many people like, if I wear my hair in a ponytail, if I wear my hair up, people will go, have you had your hair dyed darker? If I wear my hair down and curl it, people go, if you have more blonde put in your hair, like literally, it's amazing what um, how hairstyles can change things for you. But yeah, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I feel like this is also oh fuck, I burnt my hand. It's also um, really sexy and girly and fun and playful. Curly hairstyles like this, and like literally, that's taken me what oh like so I put the camera on. 
It's taken me seven minutes to do this hairstyle. Like seriously. So smooth over the front bits and then the same again here, but just a lot quicker so it doesn't get over curled. Right guys, it's outfit time. I'm gonna push my desk back and I'm gonna give us more room to find an outfit to finish off this look. Okay, so we're in my wardrobe and please excuse the mess because it's definitely not the tidiest wardrobe in the world. I don't have a great deal of space for my clothes and I have a lot of clothes, so um, they tend to just get all thrown here, there and everywhere. But as I was just setting up, I just remembered a dress which I bought ages ago for a night out and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna wear this for a night out after Christmas, once we've recovered. You know, like after Christmas, you're always so poor, or at least I'm so poor. I thought I'll wait and I'll wear it on a night out after Christmas. Um, and obviously that time has never come because by the time I had the money to go out after Christmas, we're now on a lockdown, so this is what it looks like so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pop it on so you can see and then i think that'll be the finished look all together and i mean i'm so sad that i can't wear this on a night out because it's so pretty but i think it'll also look really nice in the summer because look it's it's pink so um where is this from this is from misguided it's uh, a uk size eight and it's the satin hook and eye sheer mini dress so let me just go and put it on for you hello this feels like a completely different person to the person that greeted you right at the beginning of the video. <laughs> um, I've got the dress on, so usually at this point I will start having a little fiddle with my hair, kind of brushing through it a little bit with my fingers, and getting it how I want it. So I'm just gonna maybe... <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay, it's as far out as I can get it. As you can see, it's off the shoulder, but you could wear it on the shoulder if you wanted to, but I probably wouldn't. It's off the shoulder, baggy sleeves, satin body, really cute. I don't know if you can see. This is difficult. I think I might need to like maneuver the room around a little bit next time, but you get the gist. It's just very feminine, sexy, girly, the perfect type of flirty, fun, wanting to impress somebody type of dress, I mean, things. I really like it. Um, and the type of shoes, because obviously I can't actually show you my feet, so I'm not gonna bother putting them on, but the um, type of shoes which I would wear with an outfit like this is probably something like that. It's like a nude strappy heel, and these have got really long straps on them, and they wrap around your ankles. These are actually from ASOS. If they're still available, I'll leave them linked down below. If not, I'm sorry. I got them quite a long time ago, but yeah, I love this dress. Just need to make sure that little lining's done there. Mm. So cute, I feel like a little milkmaid. Uh. That is the end of this video. As always guys, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on it and coming to my channel and having a watch of all the craziness that I'm doing all the time. <laughs> Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is please, please, please keep yourselves safe at this time. Please try to obviously have a bit of fun, be a bit creative at home, stay at home, you know, do what I'm doing, play around, get glam, dress up still, make yourselves feel good, but at the bottom of it all, just stay safe, stay isolating, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video, and hopefully there will be loads more videos because obviously I'm at home all the time at the minute, so... There's going to be a bit of content coming your way, guys. So <laughs> um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.